Step four, summary SWOT analysis. The SWOT analysis has been around for years and is still one of the simplest and most effective methods for summarizing the review of the external and internal evaluations. The opportunities and threats are a summary of what is happening outside your organization. These are the things over which you have little, if any, control. The strengths and weaknesses result from your self-evaluation and are the things over which you do have control. It is useful to bring the board and the leadership team together here at this point and review the findings from the evaluation and agree that you've covered all of the key issues and that they are all addressed on the SWOT. The SWOT essentially defines your field or theatre of operation and your resources. And if everyone has a good understanding of these, they're more likely to come to a consensus on what to do next. Again, be careful that everyone involved really understands why the key issues on the SWOT are the key issues and they don't just agree. It can be effective to give board members responsibility for actually undertaking parts of the analysis or drawing up their own SWOT so they have some skin in the game.